Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Emma Werrett, and thank you for this opportunity to share this review of visual elicitation research in understanding and influencing community dietary practices, an unutilized tool, underutilized tool in Southeast Asia. For those not familiar with the term, visual elicitation covers a range of techniques that introduce a visual stimuli, such as a photograph, video, drawing or object into an interview or discussion. This might involve a publicly available visual, a visual produced by the researcher or by the participant. We know that communication is an important element in research and health education and participatory visual methods have demonstrated potential to improve engagement, provoke the researcher and respondents to, respondent to think and reflect and even help overcome communication barriers and power imbalances. This is the first review of the use of visual elicitation techniques in studying community dietary practices, and it aimed to summarize their use, strengths and limitations, and suggest opportunities for their use in future nutrition research and health promotion. We searched three electronic databases for any studies of community dietary practices that mentioned photo voice, photo elicitation, visual elicitation, or visual methods. Studies which used videos were excluded due to time constraints. 72 eligible studies were found and information was collected on patient characteristics, study aims, types of visual used, and information elicited. All but three of the 72 studies were conducted in high income countries and none were from Southeast Asia. 70 of the studies used participant generated visuals, but a few studies used multiple types of visuals or integrated visual methods into a mixed methods approach. Visual methods were used to explore a range of individual, sociocultural and environmental factors that influence eating behavior. 39 studies specifically discussed the impact of visual methods on their research and a further analysis of these studies was completed. This analysis revealed that the benefits of visual elicitation techniques in studying community dietary practices could be summarized under four main themes, which were improving the research relationship, facilitating communication, generating rich and different data, and helping affect change. Improving the research relationship was attributed to good rapport and engagement with the method and a more equitable relationship. Using visuals were reported to facilitate communication as it helped start and maintain conversation, overcome communication barriers, help participants communicate complex ideas and encourage mutual understanding. Visual methods also promoted critical reflection and dialogue, which resulted in different data than other methods. And within a photo voice methodology, this was the foundation for social action. The papers reflected less on the limitations of visual elicitation, but included that it could be resource and time intensive, and that there, there were ethical and data management challenges that needed to be considered. Overall, our study identified that visual elicitation techniques show potential to improve nutrition research, but their use in health promotion practice has largely been underexplored. There is also an apparent research gap in Southeast Asia. Drawing on these findings, we recommend a pilot approach where Indonesian medical students which are trained to use visual elicitation techniques with primary school children to better understand their eating behaviors and also to explore whether these techniques are effective in health education. While photo voice is popular, it's also time and resource intensive. So we've suggested an approach which uses publicly available food and campaign images, as well as a sorting activity to provoke and facilitate discussion. Thank you.